Hi, my name's Marina Gallardo, and I am the clinical instructor and field liaison for the Bachelor of Social Work program here at UTEP. And I thank you all for being here this morning. Now, this, today I'm going to talk to you about the importance of failure. Um, as I thought about what I wanted um, to talk to you about, I began to realize, uh, looking back on my life, that there were failures in my life that really, um, you know, were important to me and they contributed to my personal success. And so that's what I'm going to talk to you about. I don't want to talk to you about my life experience, and I certainly don't want to uh, give you any advice. I just want you to gain some understanding that, you know, many of us at some time in our life are going to fail at something. If you haven't done it already, it's just around the corner. Um, and so, you know, I thought about, you know, I grew up in the military, so I was a military brat, and um, I was a, a rebel child. I pretty much spoke my mind and said what I wanted to say whenever I wanted to say it. So my parents called me strong-willed. I think that was the kindest uh, description of me that they could give at the time. Um, and they also emphasized education. And my parents said, you know, you have to go to college. And I said, OK. Um, and three days after I graduated from high school, I didn't even get the summer off. I was off to college. Well, I liked college, not necessarily studying, but I certainly enjoyed playing spades in the student union with all the athletes and occasionally rotating out to attend a class. And the partying, you know, I found college to be very entertaining. Uh, so much better than going to class or, or doing homework, right? Um, and my grades showed it, and within a year I flunked out. I failed. And looking back on it, I realize now that um, I disappointed my parents, but I also disappointed myself. I had a job, so I was going to be okay. I was allowed to, I was working part time, and I got to go work full time. And three years down the road, I met and married a young army officer. And we were married for 12 years. We have two beautiful daughters who, to this day, are my pride and joy. Um, and I enjoyed the benefits of being a stay-at-home mom, being able to take care of my daughters, and also being an army wife. There was a great deal of responsibility with that. But after 12 years of marriage, I realized that I had to make a tough decision about leaving this unhealthy relationship uh, for the sake of myself and for my daughters, especially my daughters. Well, I failed. That's how I felt. I failed at the marriage. And so I had to uh, make a very difficult phone call to my parents or my mother. My father had who was my hero, had passed away a few years earlier. And so I called my mom and I said, can I come home? And her words were, yes, you can, but you have to go back to college. And she said, because you cannot raise two children without a good education. So I took her up on her offer. And I um, listened to her wise words and I went back to college. And this time it was different though, because I now had two other people who I was responsible for. Um, I graduated from college. I worked for Children's Protective Services for 30 years. I retired from Children's Protective Services, and I'm here at UTEP having gone full circle. I, I never dreamed I would be coming back to UTEP or even be teaching at UTEP. So I thought about how did those failures contribute to my success? Well, the second time I came back to college, I was older, um, perhaps a little wiser. 
Um, and my motivation, again, was different. I had two daughters who I was responsible for. And I also looked at my marriage um, and the failure there. And I thought, you know, that wasn't really a failure. It, was, it taught me that I was stronger than I thought I was. And so if you look at this quote, it says, I'm strong because I've been weak. I'm brave because I've been afraid. And I'm wise because I've been foolish. And all of those applied to me growing up. But it took a lot of courage to walk out on that marriage. And I thought, if I had that much courage and, and the courage to go back to school and start my life all over again, then I can do anything. I can be successful at anything I set my mind to do. And so what I want to say to you is don't be afraid of your failures. You know, look them in the face, accept them, don't let them define you. They're going to take you on a different journey, but it's probably the journey you need to be on. You don't know what's at the end of that journey. So again, don't let them defeat you. They're a part of, your, they're a part of life, and they're going to happen. It's what you do and learn from them that's important. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.